been, and, gone. What's the difference? Did you know that the verb to go has two past participles? Been, and, gone. In English, we use past participles, like been and gone, with the perfect forms in English, such as the present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, etc. We don't use the past participles been and gone for the past simple. So with that out of the way, given that been and gone are two past participles of the same verb, to go, what's the difference? Been equals to go somewhere and return. Gone equals to go somewhere and not return. Of course, either meaning is always relative to the speaker. Let's dive deeper. We will begin with been, which we use to signify that the speaker has returned from wherever they went. My sister has been to the shop. Equals, she has returned from the shop. Robert has been to Finland three times. Equals, he has visited Finland three times, and now he has returned to his country of origin. She had been to the library before five o'clock. Equals, she traveled to the library and returned before five o'clock. Here, we use the past perfect, because we're talking about a past before the past. The most recent past is, 5 o'clock, and the past before the past is, been to the library. Either way, the person returned from the library at the point of speaking, therefore, we use, been, and not, gone. Have you ever been to Japan? Both speakers cannot be in Japan, because we're using, been, which assumes they have either traveled to Japan, and returned, or they have not traveled to Japan at all. Now, we will repeat the previous phrases while making a few necessary adjustments using the other past participle of to go, gone, which we use to signify that the speaker has not returned. My sister has gone to the shop. Equals, she has traveled to the shop, and she still has not returned. Robert has gone to Finland. Equals, he has visited Finland, and he is still in Finland. Here, we cannot say, three times, because that would imply that he has returned to his country of origin, not Finland, and therefore, we would need to use, been, instead of, gone. She had gone to the library, before five o'clock. In this case, for this sentence to be correct, she would need to be physically present at the library, at the time of speaking. So, she is still at the library. So, given that she has not returned, we use, gone, and not, been. Have you gone to Japan? Equals, the one asking the question is not in Japan, while the one who is answering the question is in Japan, and has still not returned. Further, we also removed the adverb, ever, because, ever, equals, at any time, and given that we are using, gone, because the person is still in Japan, at any time, does not make any sense here, hence, the removal of the adverb, ever. So, have you been to the like and subscribe buttons yet? Well, if you've already gone there, then that must mean you got some added value from this video. If you still have some doubts, then leave a comment. Happy learning!